the TV show Rick and Morty, and the video game Fallout. Is there a better combination? I didn't even come up with the idea. Scott did. Who's Scott? His channel is called Friggin' Boom Toys, and this is a collaboration between the two of us. We couldn't do this collaboration at physically the same place because he lives in Australia and I live in the US, which is literally the opposite side of the world. But we made it happen by using the internet and put together a couple of really good videos for you. Quick question, why do you watch YouTube? Is it because it's entertaining, funny, you get to learn something? It doesn't matter what your answer is, his channel has it all. He does all sorts of really cool builds and he also tests stuff in interesting ways. Money back guarantee, if you go check out his channel, you're gonna be glad that you did. You'll probably end up binge watching his videos just like I did. But if you think that I'm gonna show you what he built for his Rick and Morty mashup, you're sorely mistaken. But I digress. It's time for you to see how I built my Plumbus baseball bat. First, the plumbus handle is shaped to fit the Dinglebop sleeve. Then sheets of Dinglebop are carefully shaped and permanently attached to the sleeve using heat. This makes up the grumbo. The knob end is then detached from a full stump. A Dinglebop pipe is then shaped for later attachment. A chumble stick is then separated into pieces and shaped. The pieces are then permanently affixed to the grumbo, which he then rubs and spits on. Then the Dinglebop pipe is reinforced and attached to the knob end before being permanently affixed to the grumbo. This completes the main body of the plumbus. Then individual pieces of schleem are harvested and formed into a mold. The grotus is then stuffed inside of the mold. Fleeb juice is then carefully mixed with fleeb powder. This is important because it gives the flube its character. The schleem mixture is then poured into the mold. After curing, the schleem is removed and repurposed for later use. You can tell the flube has been properly formed from the steam. The flube is then attached to the plumbus, and the remaining fleeb mixture is used to make it permanently attached. No plumbus is finished without its final coating. This protective layer is what gives a plumbus its signature look. Time to hit stuff with it. Just hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Time to test the chumble. See if the plumbus back can kill Krombopulus Michael. I think it's pretty safe to say that this is an effective weapon. The flube might not be the best part of it, but this definitely works really well. That's basically it. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to catch more cool projects in the future. And a link to Friggin' Boom Toys channel in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. 
no, no, Morty, Morty, you gotta help me. You gotta help me. I've lost half my pickle body. Oh, gee whiz, Rick, what were you doing? Yeah, I told my mom to give you that syringe back. Oh, no.